Hey church, if you're with us this past Sunday, we were looking at King Hezekiah, who is one of my heroes of the Old Testament, well of the Bible as a whole. A man of God, a king, a leader, one who led his people and the whole nation back into serving the Lord God. And uh, we had talked a little bit about how the Assyrians came against them and all that was transpiring in that time in history and how Assyria was the world power. So now I want to read a section of the story that I didn't cover fully on Sunday because, as you know, when we do a message, it's like you can't cover everything. But if you know your Bible, you'll know that in First and Second Kings and First and Second Chronicles, uh, both are about the same times in history and just from different perspectives of writing. And so I want to share just a little reading here from 2 Chronicles 32, verses 6 to 8, having to do with that time period in which um, Assyria was coming against Judah and planning an attack and a siege against the capital city of Jerusalem while King Hezekiah was leading the people as their uh, king. So let's hear what it says. Uh, this is talking about King Hezekiah now because he already knew that the Assyrians were coming because they had already started to enter his country. He appointed military officers over the people and assembled them before him in the square at the city gate. Then Hezekiah encouraged them by saying, Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged because of the king of Assyria or his mighty army. Now, I'm just going to pause there for a minute because as we look at that, we see that here's Hezekiah giving a speech to his people. And he's telling them these words, Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged because of the king of Assyria's mighty army. So he is acknowledging them and preparing them for about what they're about to see, what they're about to encounter. Remember, the Assyrian army and the Assyrians themselves were the world power, and they were dominating in war, and they were taking over nation after nation. And their military was like a machine coming against cities and countries. And so Hezekiah knew this, and so he's preparing his people. He's saying, get ready, you're going to see something, and it's going to be intense. All right, so don't let that discourage you, because you see the enemy and the opposition as strong and big and powerful. Take that to heart, church, but listen to what he says after that. Don't be afraid or discouraged because of the king of Assyria is a mighty army, for there is a power far greater <laughs> on our side. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> He's like, you know, they may look intimidating, but man, we got something way better than that. Listen to this. He may have a great army, but they are merely men. We have the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles for us. Hezekiah's words greatly encouraged the people. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? How it could just change your perspective. Stop looking at the things of the world that can be so intimidating at times feel like we're fighting a losing battle seems like the opposition has the voice the power and the strength behind them and it's like whoa 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 wait a minute you know don't look at that stuff be encouraged we have something great on our side church man the power of god is real he loves you he loves his people let's be encouraged in him let's fight this battle let's be warriors for the kingdom of god God bless you today. Have an amazing day with him.